Kwaki Sands. I'm Professor TJ. And her assistant Nelly Welly. And today we have a fun experiment for you to do today. Whoa! <laughs> but before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. A catapult is a type of machine used to throw rocks or other objects. In medieval time, catapults were set on higher ground or on castle towers to let them shoot farther. They shot rocks to break castle walls during battle. The ballista, the mangonel, and the trebuchet are different types of catapults. We are going to make our own simple catapult using very basic household items. These are the things we will require. Popsicle sticks, a spoon, elastic bands, and tissue paper. And remember kids, always have an adult supervising you as you do this experiment. Safety first! Always! Now you ready? You yes. ready to start? Yes! Okay, so we'll take our popsicle sticks. Okay. See two. Let's put them side by side. Uh -huh. Then another one. And then another two. If it's strong. If they'll form something like a triangle. Yeah. So you can see how it looks? Yeah. Over the other. Okay. Then I'll take my rubber band and then take two of the sticks. Put them, align them to be close to each other. Can you see? <clears throat> and I'll take my rubber band and tie around as tight as can be. And voila. And then take this one. Mm -hmm. All the line. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Then remove the rubber band. Do it again the way you did it for me, please. And put it over. Fabulous. Thank you. <coughs> How does it look? Tight? Yes. Strong? Yes. Catapult? Catapult. Base. Okay. Then we take our spoon. And then. We're going to add a rubber band here at the bottom. So you see? And look. Mm -hmm. Tight? Yes. Okay. Then take another rubber band. Uh -huh. and now put it over. Over? Yeah. Through through and through this. Uh huh. See how it looks? Yes. Okay. Try again. Wow. Let's do this one last time. Yes. Or will it be too tight? No, it's okay. It's okay. You think it's okay? Yeah. It's okay? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So now, let's test it. So I'll give, you can use some of this tissue paper mm -hmm. and then roll it up into a ball so that it's soft. We don't want to hurt anyone in the house or break anything. So roll it up into a small ball and then you're going to release it. Like this? Yes. And then try it out. Put, place it here, somewhere here. Okay. And go! Blast off! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. When you bend your spoon, you load it up with energy. When you let go, this energy is released and changed into energy of motion. Most of this energy transfers to the object on the spoon, which shoots through the air. Pushing the spoon down further takes more effort. We felt we needed more energy to bend the spoon further. Bending further means more energy gets stored in the spoon. And when you let go, all this energy is changed into energy on the move. So the object flies through the air at higher speed. I hope you at home were able to make your very own catapult. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye! Bye.